I'm Erica Bell, professional organizer. And today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about why your brain is a scattered mess, especially at home. All right, why it's a scattered mess? You have kids, you have a spouse, you have a hundred pets. All right, that's why the end. No, I'm just kidding. While those things may certainly contribute to your brain feeling like a scattered mess, I know that certainly is the case with me. That's not really the reason I want to talk to you guys today. But before I kind of dig deeper into why I think your brain may be a mess, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my background and don't worry, it relates to the topic of this video. So as long as I can remember, I have liked things to look a certain way, feel a certain way. Um, I've always kind of liked things tidy and organized. I mean, even since I was little. Maybe I have a little bit of OCD in me, I'm not sure. But, you know, I'd go to a hotel room and kind of start rearranging things, making it feel, look good and feel good. Or I go to maybe my mom's house and I start tidying up her countertops. I just can't help myself sometimes. Like I said, maybe a little OCD. But I really just have always liked things to look a certain way. So much so that even um, honing more into that, for in college, I mastered in global merchandising and product development. So I went to grad school and I was gonna kind of use that as to have my own boutique and help people in that way, you know, help draw people into a store, make them feel good about themselves and kind of what they're buying and, and all that, feel good about their purchases. But then I kind of realized, and this was, I don't know, well into being an adult, um, that also it wasn't so much the vanity of how things look. Yes, I like things to look a certain way, like I've said a trillion times already. But it was also how those things, when they looked a certain way, they made me feel a certain way. So I have struggled with, um, maybe I shouldn't say struggled, I've dealt with anxiety for a long, long time. So my brain also can feel like a scattered mess sometimes. And I know that when things look a certain way, I feel a certain way. And I am a firm believer that an organized space equals a decluttered mind. And I truly need that in my life. And I know that other people do too. So really wanting to tap into that more and really helping people. Again, I know there are so many people like that feel like this from my neighbors to my parents. You know, I've been, I've been helping people for years just without the professional organizer <laughs> title. So finally, I just decided to give it a go and it's just, it really has been life changing and to be able to help people like you get their spaces organized and hopefully feel a more Zen in their brain and their mind is just all I could ever hope for truly. So anyways, um, you know, and let me just have a disclaimer and <laughs> you guys probably already realized this, but if you thrive in chaos, this video is probably not for you. <laughs> um, but if you're like many of us and you don't thrive in chaos, then keep listening. You know, I remember my sister-in-law had visited us. She was in town and she was just kind of on the floor playing with the kids. And I was kind of tidying up and she said something to me along the lines of like, don't you ever relax or don't you ever, you know, can't you just like sit still type of thing. And I said, no, I really can't relax. Like when there's too much going on or there's too much kind of how I perceive, how my brain perceives like chaos, I just can't relax. But it was something that she could not relate to. So she doesn't have that same feeling. She is kind of go with the flow. She can kind of just chill in anything. And that's awesome. That's just very much not like how I am. So if you came here and you were wondering why your brain feels scattered when you are at home, Let's think about this, okay? If you're at your house right now, look around, look around. If you're not at your house, maybe close your eyes and picture yourself walking into your home, walking in the, the door that you walk in every day. When you walk into your house after working, after going to school, after whatever your day brought you, how does it feel when you walk in there? Do you feel at ease? 
Or again, does your brain feel kind of scattered and do you feel kind of craziness walking into your home? If that's the case, maybe it's because your home is a little unorganized and maybe you could try to bring some attention to that. So I had a client, I had a person reach out to me who then became a client and she was telling me about her home and we were kind of doing the initial meet and greet on the phone. And she asked me a question, which is not uncommon. And I've had plenty of other people ask me, she said, do you work with clients with ADD or ADHD? And I said, absolutely, of course. Um, so her, she said, you know, her whole house was kind of unorganized, but she had kind of like little piles of unorganized things kind of everywhere. You know, it wasn't one major room. It wasn't a hoarding situation, anything like that. It was just little clutter everywhere. She kind of liked to call it. So the first area we tackled in her house was one of her most important areas, which was her home office. Now she's super creative, but she had just been kind of feeling that block. And once we went through her space and we organized it together, kind of got rid of the clutter, it not only helped open up her space, but it helped open up her, her brain, her mind, and those creative juices started flowing again. You know, for her, she told me that I helped give her the gift of clarity and what a blessing that is to be able to help someone with that. So it's just, it, it's, it holds a bigger weight than you may think the clutter in your home when you feel like you sometimes just can't get out from under that that burden that pile that weight that heaviness it's okay that's normal you're not alone but it could be that you could just really benefit from organizing your space or think about your children if you have kids our kids are constantly overstimulated they are going a, a thousand miles a minute they are learning things like this every day, just constant. Do you have kids that maybe don't sleep well? Think about their room. You know, they really need a Zen space. I, and people will disagree with me on this, but I am big on not having a lot of toys in children's rooms. Okay? Like I said, they're constantly stimulated throughout the day and they don't necessarily have the awareness to turn it off. Listen, even sometimes adults, in our rooms, we don't have the awareness to like turn off the TV and just go to sleep. So, you know, ha taking the toys out of our kids' rooms helps them kind of create that Zen space, that space where they can really rest their bodies, rest their minds, get a good night's sleep and feel rejuvenated. Or same with you. Do you have problems sleeping sometimes? I want you to think about what is on your bedside table or what is in front of your bed? How does that space make you feel? When you walk into that space, your bedroom, you want to feel relaxed. That, that's how you start every morning and that's how you end every day. So if you're having those same kind of problems sleeping or getting comfortable, evaluate what's around you when you're going to sleep or when you're waking up. And I promise you, if it's if you declutter it or tidy up your space, it's going to help. It really, really will. And you can check out some of my other videos on kind of how to get started doing that, how to get started decluttering and organizing, as well as I have new videos each week. If there's something specific you want to know how to organize or declutter, just leave me a comment and let me know. But I really do think that if you evaluate your space, that this may be the cause of some of your kind of brain fog, your you know scattered brain. And if you can get your space organized, you will be on the right path to kind of feeling a clarity and a calmness in your life. So let me know if this video helps you. I pray that it does. And stay tuned, like I said, each week for new videos. Please like this video, comment. I wanna chat with you about it. And please subscribe to my page so you make sure to not miss any new videos each week. Talk to you guys soon.